I would do an unboxing with you because I love watching glossy box unboxings so I thought I'd do one. Why not? So let's start. The box is different too. They're kind of back to the original kind of size. The same writing, same colour, but back to the same size as the older boxes. Still really nice though. And there's inside. Ta -da! So excited. It's kind of gone back to how it was originally when they first came out. Opening tissue. What is it? Okay, so I've got Philip King's Lips Shampoo Treatment for All Hair Types. Ooh, a shampoo, that would be nice to try. Da -da -da -da. Actually, I'm going to read through this as I look through because then I can kind of explain to you maybe. Oh, that just opens up like that. Mmm. Uh, full size, this should be £38. I've got 40ml here, full size one is 250ml, it's exciting. Originally created specifically for Audrey Hepburn, this pre-shampoo treatment delivers unre unreviled elasticity, bounce and shine without weighing down or coating the hair. Oh, I'm really excited to try this. I love trying new hair treatments, conditioners and stuff. Let's have a look. It doesn't smell of anything. <laughs> Okay, so that's the first thing, shampoo. Then I've got oh, a Figs and Rouge um, hand cream with sheer butter. I love Figs and Rouge, so nice. Uh, full size, this is $6.95. I think this is full size, is it? Am I lying? No, it's not full size. Full size is 80, this is 20 mils, if you're wondering. Um, yeah. I love Fix and Rouge, they never seem to fail. They always smell really good as well, let's smell this. Mmm, it does smell so good. I just got to put my nose. <sighs> love it. Pure and natural. I always love their packaging as well. It's always so bright and colourful. Oh, this one's mango, by the way. Mango and mandarin. Okay, moving on. Now we've got, oh, it's a glossy box. Uh, special one. It's um, a highlighter in cashmere. So is it like a cream highlighter? Yeah, down across cheekbones or keeper bone or brow bone for a natural looking glow. The full size of this is £12.95 and this is a full size. Let's have a look. Focus. Oh, it's very creamy. I never really use highlighters so it'd be quite nice to try. But it's really pretty, you won't be able to see that. It's really nice and silky as well. It does feel quite greasy though, I don't know. Like I said, I don't really use highlighters so I don't know what they're meant to feel like, but that would be nice to try. I like their little packaging that they always have, it's always very cute. <laughs> um, next, well I don't know why they said I had a nail varnish, because there's no nail varnish in here, but there we go. But next is a perfume. I'm going to murder the name of this. I have no idea how to say it. Um, Philip King, no, no, that's the shampoo, or oh, we're throwing things. Oh, this isn't even on my, it's on the back. It's on the back. There is an nail varnish, it's hidden, I found it. <laughs> anyway, um, this is, I'm literally going to murder it, I'm going to show you it because I'm not going to be able to say that. If you can read it through the unfocusedness that is. Um, I'll read the description. This soft sensual fragrance has delicate top notes of rosebuds laced with fresh bergamot, white floral heart notes and musk base note. This fragrance captures the essence of love. Okay, captures the essence of love. Oh, just taking the lid off. Oh, it's a, it's a dabby one. I hate dabby ones. I prefer little squeezy ones. I can already smell it actually. It is very rosy. Definitely a rose scent. I don't know if you're anything like me, but I don't really like getting perfume samples in like these sample boxes. I never use them and they just sit there. Anyway, um, next I'll just go down is a lipstick from Essence. And it's called, it's in Natural Beauty. And it's like a dusty pink. I don't know how well you're going to see it. I'll do a close up of it for you so you can see it. It's got a little E on it, I guess, for Essence. 
love getting lipsticks. Yeah, that's a really nice colour. Be a nice everyday colour actually. Very natural. Lovely. The full size of that is £2.29 and this is the full size of it. It says the long lasting lip lipstick provides lips with intensive colour for several hours without drying them out. I don't believe that. Available in bright pink, vibrant red, chilled out berry and subtle nude shades. I'm guessing I've got a subtle nude shade, I'm guessing that would come in a... And it's called Natural Beauty, it probably gives that one away, well done Cara. And then we've got the nail varnish that I didn't think I had. <laughs> Again, I don't know if I'm going to be able to wear it, I really can't wear nude pink, so it's a dusty pink, so I might be able to. It's an Yves Rocher one, I can never say that. Um, and it's in the colour Rose. They've obviously gone for a pink theme in this one. <laughs> It's in the colour rose, um, and it just says you need to apply a thin layer. Doesn't it only says one layer actually? We'll see about that. The full size of this is three pounds sixty, by the way. How cute! I'll do an Instagram shot when I wear this, and, and I'll make sure to link it down below my Instagram so you can follow me there and see it, um, and then you'll be able to see the colour a bit better. But yeah, all empty. That's my glossy box. I actually really like this month, to be quite honest. I'm excited to try the shampoo I think the most and the lipstick, I do really love the lipstick. If you've done a Glossy Box review video, do leave it as a um, video response, I love watching them. Or if you've done a blog post on it, put it in the comments and I'll make sure I go and give it a watch. Let me know what you thought of your Glossy Box. See you next time, bye bye!